Hey guys, it's Alexander Williamson here with a secret history living inside of your aquarium. So today I wanted to do some quick videos rather than my longer wordy type. Uh, and it, this is inspired by, I just started work at Aquarium Zen and we sell a lot of these tissue cultures. And to a lot of y'all, tissue cultures may be a new thing. So I'm just going to uh, briefly talk about them, show you how to prepare them. And uh, yeah, this will be a quick wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So basically, uh, this is a new type of Rotala that ADA is carrying. And that's a Rotala, Rotala species or variant is more accurate, uh, Shimoga. So this is a Rotala rotundifolia and... Uh, what I'm more talking about today is how we are going to prepare this, what you need to do. A lot of people think that this is some uh, futuristic craziness and that there's something they need to know uh, that's, you know, earth shattering about it. Well, there's not. It's really easy. Um, what I do usually, uh, a lot of these you can actually just open by squeezing just like that. You just squeeze the rim and they open. Now, if you're trying to store these, you're not ready to do your aquascaping and whatnot yet, then all you have to do is put them in an area um, with lower light if you want it to last longer. But if you want it to keep growing a bit, maybe they're brand new in the store. Uh, this one is very young for us. It just arrived from Japan. And so we'll have these in the store for a while. And we keep them uh, in the light, under a small light, you could keep it, this would be a perfect area. If you have a kitchen facing uh, any way but south, basically, you could just keep it there sealed, though, and it would be fine for a week or two. All you want to look for is make sure that there's no mold going on, and then what you'll happen to see over time is this root structure getting more and more entangled. Now, that gets a little trickier, but it's also good because then you have something to plant with. So what I usually do, and a lot of people are like very, very precise, and they want to use, you know, the ADA tools for everything, and, and that, that can be part of your ritual, I understand that, but you don't need it. It's, it's really easy. These are clones, uh, these are cuttings of cells from plants that are in, in between the seed or the uh, stalk, basically, they're little growth stem cells. And they're taken from, uh, depending on the plant, different areas. And then they're put into this gel, which can either come in clear or it can come in, I mean, it could come in any color. It's light pink or light blue in some brands. But uh, dark black, I seem to see that with uh, roots that are white. And then the lighter gels with roots that are dark. I don't know for sure what that's about. Maybe just so you can see the root growth and so forth. But it's all hermetically sealed, so you will not have any pests, algae, snails, or uh, fungus, anything like that from the outside world. That being said, though, uh, you can still get mold in these things, even if they're still totally sealed. So look for mildew or mold around the bottom. Uh, a little bit is no big deal. You can just wash it off, and a lot of times we'll discount stuff like that. All stores will, because they need to move it before it's, it's, it grows all over. But it's, uh, it's not that big of a deal as long as you can tell that a lot of the tissue is safe and healthy. Like these plants are all very healthy. And it being a stem plant rather than a carpeting type plant, you can just see that this uh, is going to be just fine. You could cut these in half and plant the stems that way if you had to really. But the root material is great. It holds on better and it's going to give these plants a better chance. So... All we need to do now is pop that out and you're left with this hockey puck of gel. Now what I tell people is to turn on the water about fish tank temperature, a little cooler is fine if you want, uh, not a ton warmer, you can shock the plant. But all you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna try to hold the part of the tissue culture, and I'm doing this one handed, it's so easy. Hold the part of the tissue culture with the stalks here and just kind of give it a wiggle and the big chunks should come off. The big chunks should just kind of fall off and uh, basically you just kind of easily work it with your hand. And all this is, is this is an agar, it's a, it's a growth medium and they take those stem cells from the plants that are capable of growing the entire plant and 
this is filled with nutrients for the plant. This is filled with uh, growth hormones and all sorts of goodies, but it will not harm your tank. It can just cause a little bit of uh, bloom of different types of algae and things since it is straight growth. Uh, hormone and sugars and things like that that the plants want to grow it's got what plants crave right guys so as you tease it apart you can also do this with a bowl of water and float it a bit but as you tease it apart all you do is you're gonna take this and I'm gonna work these apart real quick and then we're gonna I'm gonna show you the rest because you guys don't need to see me washing all of this so I'll get with you in one sec and I don't pull apart every single stalk, but you can. These are each a viable plant. There are like 60 viable plants in a little cup like this. Sometimes there's five crypts, six crypts. And with, uh, with these sort of stem plants, there's oftentimes 20 to 50 plants of material there. So you're getting a big bang for your buck. They're just small plants. So let me finish this up. We'll get back with you and we'll finish up the video. It's as easy as all this. All right, everybody, and we are back. So I know this is washed out, but I hope you can see the amount of material that I got out of that one pot. And all these ones over to the right, they could be actually cut in half if I really cared about uh, trying to get every penny's worth. However, I've found that actually planting in somewhat of a clump, like this is like four or five stems still kind of smushed together. I found that things tend to do better. They have more of a robust root structure. And all you're going to do is take the side with the roots, as you would probably assume, and you're just going to work, uh, work it into some substrate. So it's great if you have ADA soil or something that's uh, active, as we call it, with, uh, with fertilizer, some sort of nitrates, ammonia, and minerals. However, if you don't, gravel will work with a lot of these, but then you want to fertilize your, your, uh, your water column. So that's it. That's all you do. You put them wherever you want. If you're trying to grow a wall like back there, you would plant them staggered. So one here, one here, one here. And then the next row back, you'd, you'd do an off stagger. So one here, then one back there, then one here, then one back there, then one here. You get it. You guys are smart. So that's all there is to it. If there's a little bit of that uh, agar, the, the gel in there, it's okay. You're going to be okay. Uh, but just try to get most of it off and they will grow into fully functional plants. Just give them light and the treatment like you normally would. So that's all there is to it. I hope this helped. I hope you're not scared of these, uh, or intimidated by buying them. They are actually a killer deal. This whole tank back here was from one cup. And then as it grows, you're going to cut it and replant the tops just like you would with any stem plant. So that's how we, we treat most of these. There's a few exceptions with like Rikia fluitans or a few mosses and things like that. But that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, learned a little something. And uh, now uh, if you ask me in person, I tell you to check out this video. And uh, it hopefully it answers some questions. But I have more in-depth videos of it if you search through my channel in the back, backlog of videos. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Please like, subscribe, share if you got friends that don't have planted tanks. This is a great option to get rare plants from places like uh, Aquatic Arts, you know, places like ADF, uh, ADA, uh, anywhere in the world. There's probably somewhere in your country, uh, well, anywhere in the Western world, I should say, uh, you probably, and the Eastern world, uh, there's probably somebody that delivers uh, these ADA style uh or, or tissue style culture cups and it's a great way to get you know the middle of Nebraska if you don't have a pet store for 150 miles in any direction you can still get these rare beautiful plants all right guys take it easy and I'll see you next time on the secret history living in my aquarium talk to you guys later bye